Rakai district is one of the model districts in Uganda in coffee production and consumption. It is estimated that at least 80% of the coffee produced in the district is consumed by the locals. However, the district chairman, Patrick Chintu Sekuro, has threatened to confiscate and dispose of coffee that is improperly handled. <laughs> If they find you with coffee which is not ready and you have just put it from the garden to the ground, they take it away from you. And even the police is not supposed to take it to the, to the station because if they take it to the station, they're going to sell it. So what we do, we get, let's say, flowing water, we, we power it there, we can, we can just put it in a, on a ground where we see you cannot come and pick it. For the National Union of Coffee Agribusiness and Farm Enterprises, Nukafe says such harsh measures should be enforced by law. It is always important to follow the rules, to follow the law. And the law should always catch up with anybody that does wrong. For anybody to do that, let us first and foremost get the coffee law out and then we follow how the law prescribes. This was during Hope Ministry's 8th anniversary celebrations held in Chotera, Rakai District. The church-leaning organization has been actively engaging farmers in enhancing coffee production and value addition. History has it that when AIDS was on its highest in this area, um, we had so many organizations, but when organizations left, were left back with the church. So we organized the church to start our farmer groups through the local churches, and that's what we do. Every church has a farmer group of 20 farmers, and now as I speak, from 2010, with seven farmers, we are now 2,300 farmers to date. Uganda is currently Africa's second largest coffee producer after Ethiopia. In 2017, Uganda exported at least 4.6 million bags of coffee. However, stakeholders feel the exports are way below the country's potential of 20 million bags per season. Dennis Ikoa for UBC News.